Venezuela is embroiled in a major crisis. But don't worry, it's easy to understand, and you only need to know one word, socialism. Did socialism cause Venezuela's hell? Of course. Actually, blaming socialism for Venezuela's riches to rags story is grossly misleading. Yes, under a system of governance known as Chavismo, the state, as in socialism, tightly controls the world's largest known oil reserves and subsidizes numerous large-scale social programs. But faulting socialism for the current problems ignores the improvements under Chavismo. You know, those silly communist ideas like access to education or healthcare. Even the World Bank, not exactly a fan of Chavez, said economic growth and redistribution policies led to a significant decline in poverty and inequality. For a supposedly anti-capitalist socialist state, Venezuela has some surprising traits. The private sector still provides most of economic activity, and the United States is Venezuela's largest trading partner. So what went wrong? Well, perhaps this has less to do with ideology and more to do with leadership. Now, while the Maduro government blames the crisis on foreign intervention and meddling by the opposition, it no doubt has repeatedly shot itself in the foot. Take oil, for example. The country has earned trillions of petrodollars, but it's failed to diversify its economy and remains totally oil dependent. And in recent years, with tanking prices, the economy has plummeted. But here's the problem. Economic policies have failed to adjust to reality. The government continues to print money to sustain its spending, while also propping up its foreign exchange rate at fantasy levels, resulting in the highest inflation rate in the world. To add insult to injury, Venezuela is the 10th most corrupt country in the world. Again, little to do with socialism and a lot to do with poor governance. And Chavismo doesn't have a monopoly of economic mismanagement. Previous, more right-wing Venezuelan governments also ended up in crisis with hyperinflation and protests on the streets. The socialism ruins everything charge also falls short when looking at Bolivia. It's currently experiencing significant growth and poverty reduction under, surprise, a so-called socialist government. And thus far, its success relies upon better governance and sounder fiscal policies. Clearly, Venezuela is in chaos, but it's time to ditch the red herring of socialism if we want to better understand what's happening and in turn, find much needed solutions.